Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Zoom Ricks, one of my favorite live.perillo.com chatters, because he's been hanging out more and more lately. He's asking a really good question. Hi, Chris. I'm having problems with... Oh, wait. Wrong question. <laughs> I, that, that one's coming later. I have a hard drive that I want to transfer from one computer to the other, but the new computer doesn't have any sort of dock for any additional hard drives. Question. Is it safe to just leave it there sitting? Um, and I'll try to answer this question on multiple levels. First, let me tell you uh, an experience in which I almost lost my life. Um, <laughs> the uh, Years ago, when, when I didn't own a computer, and my, my dad did, he had a 386 computer that only had a 5 and a quarter inch floppy drive. When, when I went to install a 3 and a half inch floppy drive so I could use uh, different diskettes, uh, boy, I haven't said that word in God knows how long, um, I went to install it, and I had the system case open, and as I was booting up to test to see if I had the, the floppy cable connect, uh, connected properly to the motherboard, uh, suddenly smoke started coming up because I had it resting in an improper place when I booted up that system and it wasn't grounded, all that crap. And uh, I turned it off immediately and f freaked out. Uh, you know, I thought the computer was fried, essentially. And I, I literally, Dad would have killed me, no doubt about it. Uh, <laughs> Back then, computers were very expensive. Even 386s, you know, could cost you an upwards of, you know, 2000 to $3,000. Ugh, expensive, expensive, expensive. So I booted up, everything was fine again. But uh, the, uh, the moral of the story is don't connect anything to your machine without some kind of uh, protection if it was designed to be set somewhere specifically uh, or touching certain things rather than, you know, sitting out in the open or touching a piece of metal that it shouldn't have been touching. So, <laughs> nothing w w was on fire, thankfully. Um, but, so, the, 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 and I don't exactly know how to read your question. If you want to clarify, you can. Is it safe to s leave it there sitting? If it's a hard drive and you just want to have it sitting there, not connected to anything, yeah, it should be safe. I mean, you don't, if you can, wrap it in an anti-static bag, which hopefully you have lying around. Uh, don't wrap it in, like, a Ziploc. You don't want to create any kind of static electricity. Uh, that that might uh, you know destroy or, or uh, harm that uh, that piece of uh, equipment. Uh, an anti-static bag, you know, if you don't have one lying around, I'm sure call your neighborhood geek; they've got one. Um, if you want to actually connect it to your machine, even though you don't have any room in your actual case, it sounds like you can go out to the store and buy a, a hard drive enclosure, is what they typically call it, or just an enclosure. And these are the uh, you've may have seen them before. Uh, essentially, these little kits, you pop open the top, sometimes you assemble it yourself, set the hard drive in, connect the cable, and then out the back, you've got a couple of different connectivity options. Uh, sometimes it's connecting by Firewire, or sometimes it's connecting by USB 2.0, or in some cases, uh, external SATA uh, connectivity is available for these external enclosures. Which one do you go with? Well, go with the highest one uh, highest connection that you have currently in your system. As I mentioned in an earlier answer to a question, USB versus FireWire, for hard drives, it, it tends to be the case that even though the theoretical limit or the, sp the speed, the stated speed of FireWire is uh, 400 megabits per second versus USB 2.0 is 480 megabits per second, typically you'll get a faster transfer if you connect something like a hard drive um, to your uh, to your FireWire port com compared to connecting it to your USB port. A lot of enclosures that I've seen will have both options, so that's good because then you can carry it around with you, you can take it and you can put it in this computer, you can put it in that computer. If you're going for compatibility, USB 2.0 is the way to go. Uh, if you're going for speed and you have the FireWire uh, option available, go with FireWire. Uh, in some cases uh, now, um, you, you, you may have, on the back of this particular machine, I've got an external SATA port uh, to connect an external SATA well, hard drive, and that is like, what, three gigabytes, or I'm sorry, three gigabits per second compared to uh, 400 megabits per second or 480 theoretical megabits per second uh, FireWire and USB 2.0 respectively. So uh, yeah, in the enclosure I think is the solution and they're relatively cheap. Um, you can find one, if you can't find one at your local geek store, uh, certainly you'll be able to find one online.